ever since the Minnesota Fighting Vikings hired former Los Angeles Rams OC Kevin O'Connell, as well as they brought over like half the Rams staff, the talk has been about, hey, Cooper Cup won the Triple Crown last year, won the Super Bowl, Super Bowl MVP. Uh, what is this offense going to do for Justin Friggin Jefferson? A rising star, quickly becoming uh, the best wide receiver in the National Football League. His production could go whoop. Uh, but stylistically, one for one, they're not uh, the same receiver. Uh, and Mike Tice's son, Nate Tice, that's right, uh, weighed in on the debate. Now, b before we poo-poo Nate Tice, Nate Tice is a bad dude. Like, Nate Tice knows his stuff. He's a fantastic uh, analyst. Uh, give him a follow on the Twitter machine. He's also a staff writer for The Athletic. Plus, he uh, was quarterback for the Stupid Badgers back in the day. Don't hold that against him. But also... I love Mike Tice. Uh, Mike Tice was fantastic. He was a player's coach. He was dealt a bad hand because the uh, Vikings had really uh, piss poor ownership at the time with the McCombs group. Uh, and I mean, Mike Tice was just a, a, like he was a player's coach. He was a meat and potatoes O line coach who suddenly got the challenge flag. And plus, uh, like Mike Tice at Bunnies back in the day, good times, good times, man. But uh, here's what Nate Tice uh, wrote. So the the use Jefferson in the cup role discussion theory whatever has been convoluted. It wasn't about lining Jefferson up in the backfield. Teams have lined receivers in the backfield in the red zone for like what ever. Uh, but using Jefferson all over on rundowns as opposed to just outside, round the outside, round the outside. Uh, and he continues. Jefferson was an outstanding power slot in college, as was I. Uh, he was a good blocker with feel for space and was used uh, as the point man on LSU's bunch formations. Uh, he was in the slot on 24.5% of his snaps in 2021 compared to Cup's 63.2%. So this is not to say have Jefferson line up in the slot on two-thirds of his snaps equals better. He's freaking awesome uh, from the outside, but more just sprinkling in new looks as opposed to the more traditional static attacks that Kubiak's utilized. And, and he is right. Where you know Cooper Cup and Justin Jefferson, one for one stylistically, they're not the same guy. Uh, Cooper Cup was PFF's number one graded uh, pat, uh, run blocking, excuse me, uh, wide receiver last season. Of course, he had plenty of opportunity. Working across formation, uh, the Rams employed uh, this great play where Cooper Cup would come across the formation basically as the lead blocker uh, on a running play, uh, on a sweep, and is very effective. Now, do we want to do that with Justin Jefferson? He certainly has the, uh, the ability to do it. He's a similar size to Cooper Cup. Uh, he's a willing run blocker. He's not a wide receiver prima donna. It's like, um. I ain't going to run block. No, he, he was a great run blocker uh, at LSU. You remember a handful of plays, uh, you know, like Tice uh, said, where he was leading the way, like pl uh, clearing the road for Clyde Edwards Alaire. Let's go. Come on, man. But also, Jefferson, by the way, was the, the PFF's ninth graded run blocking receiver in the league last year. Uh, Adam Thielen was six. Now, uh, in terms of Jefferson's usage in the slot, I think that comes uh, back to more uh, that the Kubi rarely ran 11 personnel. I think they're bottom of the NFL. They're uh, near the top of the NFL uh, in terms of multiple tight end usage. So the, the use of Jefferson in the slot just wasn't there because you didn't have many formations where the slot was going to be available. And also, I mean, Jefferson being dominant on the outside, that that's an absolute bonus. But uh, if, since uh, Kevin O'Connell and the Vikings are going to run a lot more 11 personnel, you do have more opportunities for slot. Uh, you do have more opportunities for Jefferson to work in there. But also, you have to take into account Thielen is an assassin in the slot, especially in the red zone. K.J. Osborne has found a great home uh, in the slot as well. So you have three receivers that are uh, all adept at the slot, but also not slouches on the outside. And you can't have all the slots, like, like all, all of the slots and not so much. But I, I do. Th I'm not talking about stylistically using Jefferson one on one uh, like Cooper Cup. But frankly, I think Jefferson's role is going to be more similar to OBJ in the Rams offense last year in terms of uh, in terms of what his uh, specific uh, roles and goals are going to be. Uh, but I also do think that the overarching principle of that offense with Sean McVay and Kevin O'Connell and Wes Phillips was like, hey, Cooper Cup is our guy. He's wide receiver one. We're going to get him the ball by any means necessary. And they did it. I mean, Cooper Cup... Everyone and their mom knew that Cooper Cup was getting the ball, and he still had 191 targets last year. It's just amazing. That, that, that is astounding. And I want Jefferson to get that amount of work. To a degree, respect, last year, even though the QBI with the mandate of a run-first offense, Jefferson still had 167 targets. And uh, a lot of it was, hey, teams knew that Jefferson was wide receiver one, and also Thielen missed a couple of games uh, as well. Uh, so getting Jefferson the ball, 
when other teams know that he's going to get the ball. That's the premise I'm looking at. Now, does he have to be used specifically like Cooper Cup? No, uh, absolutely not. But uh, I'm sure that Kevin O'Connell uh, has ideas of ways to get 18 the ball, even when everyone in the stadium knows that he's going to be that guy. And guess what? Jefferson still has that ability, whether he's doubled, whether he's bracketed, whether uh, there's uh, safety help over the top. Jefferson is still going to get the ball, and he's still going to make plays. And I, I, That's my takeaway. The whole thing was like, oh, we're, we're going to use Jefferson more tight in the slot to use him more in run blocking. Now, maybe not so much. Uh, perhaps occasionally, because how many times did you see Cooper Cup, like even in the playoffs, even in, in, in gritty time where – He's, he ends up matched up against a linebacker or he ends up uh, against a safety where it's like, how the hell did that happen? That's talking about scheme. That's talking about uh, getting guys open. Uh, that's in terms of getting the matchup. So I think that's my takeaway where I do think that Jefferson is going to have a monster season. Uh, is it going to be done in the same fashion as Cooper Cup? No, but I, I think that this season – Jefferson in this offense with Kevin O'Connell and Wes Phillips and Keenan McCardle, like they know, like he's going to get the ball. And I think that he's going to be a template going forward. It's like, Hey, you have this alpha wide receiver one on the outside in the slot at the X at the Z, whatever, but he's still going to get the ball. And that's my takeaway. So I want Jefferson to get, I want Jefferson to get 200 targets this year in the regular season. I want him to get that type of work. Uh, and it's funny uh, that, that we're talking about uh, you know Nate Tice, Tice's son because, of course, Mike Tice had the Randy ratio. I don't think we have to go that far, but a de facto Jefferson gist, that doesn't make any sense, uh, but just getting him the ball uh, because he is your best playmaker and you're going to make things happen. Plus, uh, the more attention that Jefferson gets, the easier it's going to be uh, for everyone else getting open, man. So uh, there you go. But uh, your thoughts and our thoughts. Mike Tyson's kid weighs in on Cooper Cup and Justin Jefferson. Uh, let us know your thoughts on our thoughts and their thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once both the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.